A friend of mine the other day came up to me and he said, listen, I've invented the greatest card lock ever. And I said, what do you mean? And, and he said, well, you know, when you've got a good hand of cards, like four kings, people often try to steal them. So I've come up with this wonderful system of locking the cards together. And he proceeded to show me this, what looked like an envelope. And I said, well, yes, I can see that. And he said, look, this is my lock. It goes all the way through my four kings, which you can see are in the envelope. And I said, well, it looks like a pencil to me. And he said, no, 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 it's not a regular pencil. This is a magic lock pencil and it holds my cards in place. And I said, well, the, the, the problem you've got here is you've had to push it through the center of the cards, making a hole. He said, no, this is the great thing about this. This is magical because they can't pull the cards out because they're locked in position. But he said, look at this. If I remove the lock, you can see the cards in here. And if I pull out the four kings, and he did this right in front of me, he showed me that the envelope didn't contain anything else. And you could see the pencil going all the way through. He then said, look, there's no hole. This magic lock doesn't create any holes in the front or the back of any of these four cards. And it really is that magical. Four cards, solid. I was impressed. What do you think? But of course, like everything, everything is just an illusion. So how does this trick work? Well, it's great for presenting online. I think it's a great trick that you could do over Zoom or just on social media, but it will also work at a kind of parlor effect. I wouldn't say it's totally close up because like a lot of these card tricks you see nowadays, they involve gaff cards. And I don't know about you, but I don't know, every gaff card I've seen, when you actually see it in person, it's obvious, yeah, for a number of reasons. So, but I leave it up to you. Now, this is based on a trick that I saw performed where this magician had a wooden box and he had this uh, pole, metal pole that went through the box. And when he pulled out this pole, he opened the lid of the box and there was a complete deck of cards in there. And, and you know, me being me, I always try and work out how it was done. And so I sat there for a while and, and thought about it and, and I came up with my solution. Now I know that people that maybe own one of those magic box tricks are probably gonna tell me in the comments, it doesn't work like that. But this is my variation of how I think it can be achieved. So with these four cards, you'll see how freely you handle these and there's no holes to be seen in them. Well, that's not strictly true because once I show you the cards closely, you'll understand exactly how the method works. The envelope is just an envelope with a hole punched through it. The pencil's regular. So why don't I see the hole? There's got to be a hole in the card somewhere. Well, there is. Let me take one of these cards. Actually, there's two cards here. And what I came up with was, let me see if I can show you this a bit clearer. Maybe if I put that like that. You can see that I've got two identical cards. The King of Spades. Now, what I've done, I've used some roughing on here using one of these roughing sticks okay it's like a little wax thing and I just wiped it on the face and the back that way if I put a bit of pressure on these two cards they don't separate if I do it loosely they separate in my opinion I'm not a great lover of 
this roughing stick um, wax thing. I think the spray is much better. I do have a video on making your own using a spray can, uh, and I'll put a link to that at the end of this video and also in the description below. But that aside, that's what you do. So the best thing to do is to grab yourself some old playing cards you got kicking around the house. And um, what you need to do is if you look closely, that I've got a kind of a half moon shape. Now, the reason I cut the half moon is because on the bicycle cards, I wanted to follow the contour of the circle. That way it's, it's hidden a little bit better, okay? Uh, and I did the same on here. But can you see that when the cards are together, let me put them like this. When the cards are together, they look quite natural, okay? And you have to remember the audience are going to be looking for a hole through the centre. Now, of course, there is no hole through the centre and I can actually point to that quite cleanly and nobody can see that hole. So that's how that works. But if I slide this up a little bit, you can see it reveals the offset holes like that. I then do the same with this one. So there's my two kings with the offset holes. Now you may come up with a different variation of the hole cutting, but I just used a, a sharp knife. And don't forget to ask your parents if you can use a sharp knife before attempting to cut these. But you'll now see with each card staggered, I've got a perfect hole through there. And what you do is you push these in like that. Now you could even have them like this to begin with, so people can see that it's solid. That's up to you. So you could say, look, I've got these four cards. And because you've only got the tops, you say, I've got these four cards. A good hand here. I want to lock these. And as you push these down, the hole comes into play. You take a pencil and you can push it through like that. So that's now gone through. And it's amazing to see that go through. I prefer not to do that. I prefer to have this in there to begin with, otherwise I find it too fiddly and people might kind of guess you're doing something with the cards. So that's how they're uh, penetrated like that. Then all you do is that you remove the pencil or the padlock or something. Uh, and then when you open this, all you do is you just let them drop, just tap them that drops all the cards in line with each other. Pull them out. Look at that. There's nothing in the envelope. And then you then proceed to show these. Now, because they've got the roughing fluid on, I can just spread them like this and just show them. The audience are looking in the middle for the hole. And because we've got it offset, the cut, it doesn't show up you know, obvious. Now, if somebody examined these closely, obviously they're going to see the cutouts. That's my view, which is why I hate gaff cards normally. But as I said, uh, for social media, this might be quite good. And you can even handle them quite freely. Uh, put a bit of pressure on. You've got one, two, three, four cards. And you can turn them over and say there's no holes on the back either. Like that. But... I don't need to tell you how to perform the rest of it. That is it. You put them away. You could even have four duplicates of these in a pocket somewhere. And as you've shown these, go to put them in your pocket, pull them out after switching them as you're saying, look, this is the thing that people think I've got hidden other cards in here. While you're diverting their attention, is you've done the switch bring out the four regular kings uh, and show them this and then people will grab these okay but by now you've done the switch 
play it how you think but on social media I think that it works quite well as I said I prefer to spray these with the roughing spray rather than use this I did use this on these and I find it doesn't work that well but that's my personal opinion I don't find this roughing stick works too well and the cards tend to separate but anyway there you go a quick short direct trick hope you enjoyed that don't forget to hit subscribe and also check out the other videos on the channel.